and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks all right check out this little thing hey little pretty little thing bye bye rabbit see you next uh, see you in 12 years Guys, do the math. 12 years from now would be what? <laughs> 2035? All right, well, see you again in 2035. Is that, is that good math? Yeah, I'm pretty good, huh, guys? All right, y'all. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go check out the Gordon Ramsay's, uh, Gor uh, no, it's called Ramsay's Kitchen at the Harrah's. Okay, you don't care? All right. All right. Ramsey's Kitchen is the newest steakhouse here on the strip in year 2023. And I'll tell you right now, I am not a Gordon Ramsay fanboy, but uh, I've got nothing against him. I'm just a neutral party who've tried all his restaurants here on the Strip. I gotta let you know now, this has been my favorite Ramsay restaurant. Hello, uh, how are you? You see me right? <laughs> all right, let's go, come on. The restaurant is sort of tucked away, but uh, if you're familiar with Harrah's, it's located where the oyster bar used to be, adjacent to where the buffet used to be as well. Both of them now closed. All right, y'all, come on, let's go inside. I'm a little, oh, hey, watch your hockey game. Yo, Golden Knights, let's go. What do you think? Let's have a few drinks at the bar first. Looks like cocktails are about $20. And then, uh, we could skip the wine. More wine. Uh, more wine. All right, here we go. For some of you Caesars folks who might be wondering, yes, you can use your diamond drink vouchers here. For those of you who just asked, hey, what is this guy talking about? Well, subscribe and stay tuned because I'm making a video with ins and out information on how some of you get four free daily beverages from Caesars Rewards. Ooh, I'm gonna get the whistle pig for sure. Yup, four drinks daily, as long as each are under $25, including cocktails. And, uh, some beers. All right, y'all, so I got some whistle pig. This is the six year. Uh, just go straight to the head. And then for the cocktail, I got the uh, Boston Inferno because this is the one they might smoke, but I substituted Maker's Mark for a, uh, a rye whiskey. Willits. Oh, y'all. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's check this out, guys. There, that goes in there. Turn this guy on. Okay. Fire that guy up. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Ooh, wee. Tasty. Just, I'm gonna get seated and order some food. Uh, let's transition over there. All right, y'all, here we are at Golden. No, don't say Gordon. This is called Ramsey's Kitchen. RK for Ramsey's Kitchen. Here we go. 100% prep. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And then they serve with this Ritz cracker, so it makes it really light and buttery. We have a phenomenal foie gras. That's our Chef Reggie. Perfected. We have uh, the 
Carl's Donuts apple fritter underneath, so when you put everything together, it's like the perfect bite, just absolutely delicious. We have phenomenal soups and salads on there. We have his signature tuna tartare that's tossed in our chili garlic soy. Beautiful avocado ring. It's a long tongue chip that comes from our stunning raw bar down below. Oh, hey, guys, wonton chips. What you know about that, guys? We are out of the 14 ounce New York, okay? Uh -huh. But we have a phenomenal 24 ounce bone in ribeye, just absolutely delicious. That bone enhances that flavor, the marbleization just melts in your mouth. Then we have this classic beef belly tip, always served in a perfect medium pair. Everything is a la carte. We have accompaniments. We have his potato puree, his mac and cheese, his mataki mushroom, just absolutely delicious. And I'll give you a couple of minutes to go over the menu. If you have any questions, you let me know and I'll guide you through. I do. Uh, so yes. Besides that you mentioned, that's the same recipe at the other spots. Correct. That one. Pretty okay. much a help. Yes. Okay. And they're all served family style, so they're nice and pretty. Gotcha. Start off with any crab cake, tuna tartare. I mean, you mentioned the uh, wonton chips. Yeah. I mean, it is. Chinese New Year's guys so you know so and I'll do that okay, okay so we're gonna start off with the tuna tartare all right y'all she helped me out with that uh, check it out so I brought the cocktails over here mr. Ramsey you need to get better beverage napkins all right that's not gonna cut it all right enough ranting All right, y'all. If you want, if you're hungry, come join me. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is a, this is at Harrow's, obviously. This is a big, beautiful uh, venue right here. I think out of all the Gordon Ramsay restaurant decor, currently going on here in Vegas. You know, let's take you down there. This is the raw bar and, uh, sitting area, paying homage to its former restaurant here, Oyster Bar. Nice hair. Nice hair. Alright. So the kitchen area. Yeah. yeah, so again, I was saying, out of all the uh, Gordon Ramsay restaurants in Vegas, this is my favorite decor here. Uh, you know, the one at Paris is sort of outdated. And, uh, you know, alright, I'll just walk around. I'm getting drunk off those to uh, the whistle pig is getting me. Cause I Look how big the spoon is. That's a big spoon. I like big spoons and I cannot lie. <laughs> Oh boy, sorry. Wow, there's a perfect balance of sour cream, Asian sesame flavor, and the avocado just binds it all together. This is good stuff. Yup, it's a serving spoon, but uh, it's huge. Well, a few of you asked, hey, how come you don't show yourself eating? Well, this is why. <laughs> Hey guys, that's how good this is. Oh boy. All right, so there's sauce to this. This is red wine, demi glaze. 
you know what? I like how she's going on the parameters, not on top. No, it's uh, yeah, the that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we have a grilled crab legs with rum butter and English mustard. Okay. And here we have a yes, asparagus with uh, fried shallots. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. So I like the fact that this is a uh, thicker. And uh, here's the thing: there's no bread service here at all. No bread service, period. Which I'm cool with that, right? You can't pay for it. You can't ask for it. You got to bring your own bread. Now the waitress, she told me that Gordon Ramsay is going to come here next week and get feedback on what's going on. And a lot of people like bread, obviously, but old school people like me. Like me, don't want to pay for bread, but if I'm going to pay for bread, because that's the new trend, then it better be good as the bread at Amalfi uh, by, Gordon, uh, by Bobby Flay at Caesar's Palace. I'll pay for that bread any day. This is, uh, I think he said it's $10. This is a must. Uh, I didn't see it on the menu, but uh, check it out. <laughs> Do the bread. Do it. It's one of the best breads, uh, table breads I've ever had. Uh, all right, my food's out. I gotta start eating, guys. All right, y'all. Cut it open. Here we go. I don't know if I caught a footage, but it was kind of like that. Okay. And. Uh, Ooh, wee. Delicious, succulent, sweet, juicy. Yup, let's do this. Oh, whew. yeah, it's just uh, it's dripping wet right now. So uh, let's put it down. Let's taste a little bit of this. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a well-balanced mustard there. If you mix it with the whole granioli, absolutely no, delicious. That sauce is yeah, isn't it low killer? mustard. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh my God, so good. Very subtle, that's nice. Good, how do you like the crab? It's good. Good? Yeah, oh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Right, hey guys, they try to hide it, but I don't know if this came from this leg. It's missing a lot of uh, meat over there, hey? Right? Bam. Bam. Right. This is the best piece of leg I've ever had in my life. It's like a whole femur bone. It's longer than my. Dude, it's bigger than, oh my God, look, oh my goodness, look. You know? Huh. All right. Yeah, this is a nice fatty piece. It's good quality. It doesn't just melt in your mouth. You, you do have to chew a little bit, but the flavor is there and uh, it's perfectly seasoned for me. And whatever this is, and I like how they put it on the parameter, not drenched on top. So the sauce is something, something, butter consomme. Uh, I, I, would, I wish they would have asked if I want this or not, because I don't like sauce like this on my steak. Because you could take the option of dipping it in there. 
and that wine sauce provides a little bit of sweetness, just a hint, to kind of switch up the palate of this really rich tasting ribeye here. So just a little hint, just to kind of cleanse the palate. I mean, it creates a little, little balance, a little, little, little factor there. All right, I'm drunk. I'm trying to sound off freaking like a, like a legit professional reviewer. Again, I'm not here to review. I'm just here to eat and let you know my experience. All right, I'm drunk. Oh boy, don't ask what I'm doing. Oh boy, what the hell? Why did I show you that? I don't know. This is why I don't show myself eating. Oh yeah. With cost not a factor, is this better than the ribeye at Bavette? No. Is this better than at Bavette's? No. Excuse me. However, for the price point, you know, this is, is $5 less. And this is potentially about $40 to maybe $50 less than Bavette's. So for the, for, for the, if you take account for the price, I'll be honest with you, with the service here and just the whole vibe, you know, there might be more days than not that I might come here. This is tasty. Oh, especially here at the, uh, these ends. Ooh. Now, this is not aged at all. It's not dry aged, wet aged, but this is good stuff. Yeah, perfect. Crispy on the outside, perfectly cooked. Pittsburgh style. This was the second best ribeye steak I've had in Las Vegas, and it was about thirty to sixty dollars cheaper than the rest. Wow.
All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's get out of here. All right, we out, let's go. Oh yeah, uh, this is a restaurant that I'll be back over and over and over again, especially that it opens at 11 a.m. every day and closes at 11 p.m. Yeah, I highly recommend, give it a try. Right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that one. And if you did, push that subscribe button, like button, comment below. And uh, thank you for watching. And please, come again. Bye-bye.